I recently bought an Atomos Ninja 5 and rather than having a perfectly calibrated D65 white point screen as it claimed in the literature, it was more the colour of a delicious sweet clementine, i.e. it was bright orange. First I tried to make my own custom LUT uh, in order to correct for this, but that didn't really work because the ultra highs if you clipped out a shot still stayed orange. I emailed Atomos and didn't get a response, uh, so I went to a Facebook group in the meantime and found that lots and lots of people, some from a year ago, some from the last week or so, with ninjas and shinobis and all sorts of screens, had said that they were far too warm. Most of them had just been dealing with it, some of them had made their own LUT but, but found the same problems that I had, that it didn't really work, uh, and some of them had just returned them and got another. If you have this problem and you need to fix it there's only a few solutions and they're all slightly annoying so sorry if you were here for a quick fix because it's not going to happen. The first option is just to send it back and get another. Send a link to this video or send them a picture of how badly calibrated it is and uh, hopefully they'll be able to send you out another although somebody on the Facebook group did this and guess what the new one was also orange. The second option is to send the monitor to one of Atomos' service centres if there's one near enough to you to make that possible and they can calibrate it for you uh, so that it is correctly calibrated to D65 white point. Again it's a bit awkward, you have to send it away, wait for it to come back and in the meantime you're without a monitor so it's not the best solution. The third solution, which is what I did, is to use a special cable and an i1 uh, Display Pro calibrator to calibrate the screen yourself. The problem with this is it's quite expensive because if you don't own an i1 display already like I do, you have to go and buy one and it's not cheap. You also have to buy one of the most extortionately overpriced cables I've ever seen. It's a USB to LANC uh, cable with a sort of plastic blob uh, in between with Atomos logo in it that I can only uh, assume contains uh, unicorn horn dust and wizards. You plug this into your computer and into the Atomos, you then plug your uh, I, I display into the uh, computer as well and then you run a special piece of software. For now uh, those are your only methods. You send it back uh, to your retailer, you send it off to be calibrated or you bite the bullet, pay the money and calibrate it yourself and don't have any downtime. Sorry to say it but that's what you're going to have to do, one of those. Uh, I'm sorry if that hasn't made you very happy, it didn't make me very happy either. You know not all of life is about, about happiness, maybe we need to realise realize that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon uh, for something uh, hopefully less moany and boomerish.